This is a story of grief, a gift, and a garage. The death of a loved one really helped me understand more about what hospice does, not only for the patient, but even more so for the family. The grief Heidi felt was softened by the gift of hospice care. And in its turn, the grief and the gift planted a seed in 2007 in Heidi's garage. I had put out a email to some friends of mine and just explained what I was thinking about doing and invited them to come join me. One of those individuals was Jane Ashley and she was one of our first volunteers. Jane loved flowers. We were really excited to be able to take these flowers and create bedside bouquets for hospice patients, offering just a simple random act of kindness that they weren't expecting that hopefully would brighten their day. But about six months after Jane started volunteering, crushing news. Jane was diagnosed with um, lung cancer. The cancer was aggressive and treatment wasn't working. We were uh, then giving bouquets to Jane while she was in hospice care. Within just a few months, Jane died. Paul knew how much giving and then receiving flowers had meant to her. So after Jane's memorial service, Paul donated all of the flowers. That's what she would have wanted, okay, with those flowers to be donated. She always would say, oh, I'm so glad these flowers weren't born for nothing. You know, they get to be used again, they have a second life, and she really liked that. Marcy Paget had visited with Jane before she died, helped Paul with his grief. She, too, had lost a spouse. Soon, their friendship blossomed into something more. I found that I could love again. It was, uh, um, it was really magical. Paul called and said, guess what, I'm getting married, and we'd love to gift you our wedding flowers. It would have been uh, almost a tragedy that something that beautiful would just um, not be appreciated even more than it was that day. It tells a story of something so full circle for us. Sarah Peterson at Partners in Care has seen how patients and their families react to these special deliveries. For some, they're the first flowers they've ever received. Getting flowers for the first time in the final stages of their life is such a gift. All the way to the other end where people have just enjoyed flowers their whole life and this just kind of helps them on that continuum of enjoying fresh flowers. Hospice patient Bobby Davis says it best. I love flowers. It it's, it's, makes you feel special. Katie Hartley is the former director of Hospice House and remembers well how much the flowers meant to patients. They were just thrilled. Even the men, they'd say, oh, for me? Who's it from? They were just so interested. And some people cried and were just so touched. And it was just really, um, it was a gift to them that someone would care enough to make a bouquet just for them. When her daughter was planning her wedding, Katie asked if she'd like to donate the flowers after the reception. She quickly said yes. It was such a special, special day and time for our family, and the flowers were so beautiful, we wanted someone else to be able to enjoy them in a whole different way. The Bloom Project exists solely because of the generosity and compassion of the community. Everything is donated, from flowers to vases to the workspace. Volunteers arrange the flowers and make the deliveries. I think we're bringing care. I mean, attention. We're bringing um, uh, someone's thought of me. Everyone has stepped up and supported us in any way that they can, and it's wonderful to see. I think it's also been so gratifying to see that people understand how important it is to take care of, of our relatives, of our friends, of our neighbors, of our colleagues during this time and not forget them, that they still need the color and the smell and the life around them even as they're getting ready to leave the world. The flowers bring a breath of fresh air. They bring happiness and joy. Everything they do is unselfish and for the joy of others. Bringing color and life and love to patients and their families when they need it most and least expect it. Hi, Bobby. Hi. I had no idea what was going on. Here come a, a gift of flowers. 
on my birthday. It meant a lot.